Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome to another Skyrim Special Edition Guide. My name is Alex and in this video we'll be talking about LODs, graphics and possibly improving performance depending on your settings, uh, reducing VRAM consumption, making the game look better, more prettier. So basically LODs are all these little objects, I'll be speaking from a complete beginner's perspective. And LODs are basically all these little objects that you see in the distance that are small to be rendered fully on your screen, but when you move closer eventually they get swapped for the real thing so optimizing these will potentially give you a lot more performance and also reduce vram consumption because vanilla skyrim is very badly done and optimized there's not a lot of detail like for example here you cannot see a lot of detail even though i've done all of this i went with some settings that would um, eliminate too, ma too much detail in the distance but as you can see some closer ones like here is more detail so this, these are basically the settings that I use and I'm going to give you a quick guide on how you can get started with this and then in the end point you to some other resources as well. Everything will be in the description below and feel free to let me know if you have any questions. Okay, so here we are outside of the game and I'm going to show you everything that you need to get started with this. I'm going to try and keep it as simple as I can. So basically you need to go to nexusmos.com, make an account and the first tool that we want to download is called SSE Logen. For Skyrim Special Edition. The next one is called Dindolod and this is on the old version of the website. I'll leave you all the links in the description but it works for SE as well. I'm going to show you what you need to do. And then finally we have some textures which I will go back to in a moment depending on uh, your requirements and what you want to achieve. You might or might not want to use these but we'll talk about that in a moment. So once you have SSE Logen downloaded, I use Mod Organizer. And if you don't know how to mod Skyrim, then go to the description of the video. You will see my my other guide on how to get started with modding Skyrim as well as optimize performance. Both of those are very useful. And then in Mod Organizer, we need to run these tools as executable so that they will pick up on our load orders, everything that's going on with the game and generate all the pr appropriate files. So if you go to settings, actually, no, if you go to executables, tools, executables, here you can see I have a bunch of stuff, so let's see what it is. Uh, we need xlogen and binary, you need to go where you downloaded it, the executable. And for arguments, you have this here. You need to add SSE like this, so they will work with special edition. And all this stuff is fine, nothing there much. Now the same thing happens with Dindelod. You also need to, but here you only need to add the SSE argument and uh, navigate to the binary. And this little utility text gen, this comes with Dindelod. It will pick up on the uh, texture mods that you're running and generate appropriate textures. So that's useful as well. Also, you need the SSE argument. So when when you have all of this set up exactly like this, then what you can do is you can start uh, let's see xlogen and this will take a while to load so i'm just gonna skip all right so the loader is finished and this is the window that you will see now what you can do here first you have the world spaces this will also depend on the mods that you have for example uh let's see we have the main one tamriel skyrim we have black reach we have uh, some dlc mods that i have like bruma what you can do is you can go right click select all and here, if you want to use just one tool to try and get this done without complicating things, then you can do everything here. It won't be perfect, but it will get the job done. You can click on objects, LOD, trees, LODs, all that stuff. And I would suggest that you stay away from that because we'll use Dindelot for that. And here we can only do the terrain ones. Now, these are my settings, pretty standard stuff, nothing special. Occlusion, I'm not going to spend a lot of time explaining what that is. You can read in the manual if you want to do that. It's not required. I think I did it, but it's not required. And here we have different settings, LOD4, LOD8. Now, if I remember well, these are the same, except here we have Optimize Unseen. And LOD16 and LOD32 are like this as well. So you can just... Uh, here, I'll go again from the beginning, so you can pause the video and see all the settings. LD4, LD8, 16, and 32. So those are my settings, pretty standard stuff. Now, once you do all of that, if you want to do everything like real simple, then check both of these, check occlusion, and just be done with it, one tool, and that's it. You 
install that as any other mod in mod organizer and that's it but if you want to move on click on generate and that will take a while so be prepared to go do something else because it might take like up to like an hour or half an hour depending on your mod load order how uh, how strong your pc is and things like that so i'm going to go ahead and cancel that i'm going to exit xlogen and now i'm going to show you the other one we are going to go with textgen so this will be the second tool that we use again load it up wait until it's finished okay so it's finished and it's already notifying me that i have uh, generated texture so i'm just going to ignore this basically here you can select the output path and you can select the texture LOD size, size and uh, it tells you here if you want to use less VRAM set it to 128 or more depending on the textures uh, these are my settings and that's it this is a very simple utility just click start let it finish take the output install it in mod organizer like any other mod and that's it so I'm gonna exit and when you're installing these outputs from all these tools in mod organizer what you want to make sure let's let me show you like for example here we have textgen I'm gonna open in Explorer you want to make sure that the mods are like this so that if as if there's any subfolders you want to take that out of the subfolder and make sure that it's in the root folder of the mod mods are installed in mod organizer slash mods it doesn't matter like the load order here <laughs> the utility will you will allow you to reposition them so just make sure that everything is in the root folder because then you can see all the conflicts now as you can see uh, normally here you, you would have a bunch of conflicts for example this one is supposed to be uh, beneath these ones but I actually hid all the conflicts so once you understand how mod organizer work, works you can uh, resolve texture complex conflicts easily and here the load order will be like this dindle load terrain load x the hd loads so the other one xlogen doesn't have a plugin and then the load also has another one up here the esm but that goes at the top so that's that's it for the text gen once you have that we can use dindle load and for dindle load again we need to wait for everything to load okay so now the dindle load has loaded everything you have the basic uh basic screen here you can select the output path you can uh, click on the presets that you want to use or you can go advanced i'm going to go advanced but first i'm going to show you some comparison as you can see this is vanilla game and if you click on low you can see the load low settings medium settings and high settings so i went with medium ones and this actually improved my performance in the game because all the textures were optimized and uh, it gave me a much nicer looking game so all of that is uh, you can see some more examples here high settings will give you lots of details I think medium is fine so I'm gonna go with the advanced option now and here again you want to select all the world spaces there used to be some bugs with Bruma I don't think that still applies you might want to google it I'm not sure but I actually did it I see no problems so I'm gonna say that it's probably fixed now here are the rules or uh, the settings that I use and you can pause the video at this point if you want to use the same settings i'm using pretty standard settings i'm not going to go into all this stuff it's very complicated lots of stuff here as a beginner that you don't need to know what you need to do is select the data output path all that stuff select all the worlds apply your, your settings and lod brightness leave that by default max size and that's it basically click ok generate take the output install in mod organizer like any other mod and you're done now dindlod also has some uh, patches and resources uh, patches will basically fix some small problems they're not required you can install them and see what they're fixing it's uh, you might want to have them or might not i don't really need them but i think i have them anyway uh dindlod resources you have some stuff here let me take a look um meshes scripts all that stuff you can install the se resources the correct load orders you can read all of that in the help files so you don't need me telling you what to do there and then finally we have terrain lod and hd loads this one should be like this the load order should be terrain should come first and then other lod's later now speaking of those two these are basically designed to work actually this one i don't think it has uh uh yeah, he has some 
commonly answered questions read all of that you will understand much better what's going on but this one also works best if you're using something like uh, noble skyrim which i do use i highly recommend that you check it out if your machine can run it so noble skyrim is pretty cool changes the game dramatically and but it does cost a lot of vram so be careful rustic windows i, I also use that majestic mountains terrain lod that's the one here and in the load snow elf ruins i think i use this as well let me just take a quick look yes i use also this one so i use pretty much all of this stuff and it's compatible now if you notice any problems with these textures you have 1k and 520 dindle load ready on the files tab you can see that you have uh, textures for dindle load for standard and all that stuff you can just overwrite in mode organizer that's totally fine but this one is supposed to go below this one i think text gen should be like here but since i hit the conflicts it's fine there's no problems and that's basically how you get the lod's improved in the most basic basic possible way that i could explain uh, there's other videos on youtube that go into more detail so you can you can check uh, a video i think it's called by uh, gamer poets he did a nice video it's a couple of years old, but it's still um, a relevant video. So make sure you check out his video if you want to do some more advanced stuff. But that's out of the scope of this one. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe for more Skyrim videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one.